Getting older. I don't know yeah. if I'm that fast anymore, you know? It's a uh, <laughs> tough gonna, one. I was going to take that somewhere, but I, I just have to Yeah, go yeah. No, don't have my pills on me, Henry. I know where you were going with that. MBK and MB, or, excuse me, and Kenny with Envy are going to be the last alive, so they'll get their side choice. Where would you go? We know teams have gone T-side before on this map to start out. They've already gone CT. So yeah, it's that. most teams start the CT-side. It's just like you're defensive, like you're putting the pressure towards the T's to actually be more assertive and bring their strategy to the game. Uh, in terms of the CT setups, obviously you have the option to send three CT towards middle, play an orbit on either side of the map, like A or B, if you do get in that position. Otherwise, you can actually focus more towards A and leave middle just more of a retake position. Like, it's not a bomb side, obviously, but a lot of teams like to challenge it. Pistol round, though, or mortals. Most teams go towards B, but it looks like they'll actually be favoring towards Oh, I guess it's not live. Back we go. Back to us. No one wants that, Henry. Yeah. But uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> well, Maybe next then. time I'll go uh, speed cast. You know, they caught me off guard that time. The truth is they're uh, pre-recorded. They're, they're pre-recorded and sped up. I can't do them on the fly. That's, that's not how they actually happen. Oh, it's all it's all, it's all fake. Yeah, it's, fake again. yeah, yeah. Even to the point where we knew with the NIP one in Malmo that it was going to go to exist in the clutch. It was all pre-recorded. Well, there you so, go. We actually have to act it out with rehearsals when we come here the night before. We don't do rehearsals. Uh, well, we, 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 we come and sit around and pretend we're doing rehearsals. <laughs> yeah. um, and that's what we did the night before. We actually staged that knife round. Uh, we brought in Hulk Hogan, who's very good at staging things in sports and environments. Um, that's what his sport was known for. So we brought him in, and they I went over the knife round. classes of sports. Classes of entertainment, isn't it? It's wow. In that case, what are, what are we, Henry? Well, classes well, of sports is real. Okay. You know, enough. it's competitive, right? Like, it is. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. We're not just stage performers. Although sometimes you are um, on Friday nights. So there's As that. As we known, there's Trance posted a video this week of my stage performances. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. I'll never forget that night. It won't let me forget it. <laughs> God. It's true. Yeah. Well, it looks like we had a small, I think it was a sound issue I heard through my headset as we were talking. Um, I think that's very easy to fix. It's like a headset. Yes. That's, uh, well, hopefully it's a headset. Out. If it's a sound card that's died, then we might have to do a swap, but let's not anticipate that that is the case. Well, they're saying have fun. I so. know that different... Yeah, okay, we're going to go like right to back fun. into it. Freeze time's already actually going to be lifted here. That says... Okay, something to note. Well, we didn't see what the intention of mortals were. I did see two smoked purchases in that previous round, though, so that does suggest to me it's like you smoke on the, the left-hand side of the red crate on the A-bomb the A side, sorry, and towards highway as well. Gives you like a gives you a little um, veil on towards that side. You can segregate the players towards quad or MPK position. Ironically, is on the server as well, but here we go. Then round number one. Two smokes. Like I said, I'm anticipating the smoke on the left-hand side of the bomb site. One towards highway. Flashes go in. Plant safely. And see what happens here. But it's a different approach. Before, Immortals actually sent four players towards A. They're going to be boosting up this round. The bomb's going to be there as well. So this could be a fast play towards B in terms of the split. You can see it's going to be still towards the B storage area. Just showing some presence there. Smokes it off. Flashes in as well. This could be baiting out any utility to City's house. There's going to be one player there for Envious. That's MBK. Oh, Phelps was spotted for this jump down. Now, did he read the fact... They've pushed two back up highway. It looks like he's gotten far enough. There's no one able to rotate yet. MBK is going to try and do so and leave B. Three players stacked up in that position. Now that means two at car, and they've got a crossfire. They've got to surpass. They've got to find the player quad as well. They've already got one over. It's not the bomb in position just yet, but it's getting ever closer. They still have to contend with the fact that they've got M Sixer in behind quad. And in doing so, it actually oh. brings NBK and Happy back in. Good look and lovely shot and followed up immediately after is Phelps. With good position on the USB, very fast once we got to the A site. Well, there's all a ruse there, and apparently towards B, I thought the beast would be coming in there, but it's actually just showing presence there, taking some vision away from the CDs with that smoke. A flash goes in as well. They do the mid boost, and they go up towards shore. The smoke is used towards that CD spawn area, and they manage to lock it down. It was a two on two on the end. MBS did come back into the round, but Phelps finishes things off. One of the headline acts for Immortals, managing to show up there in the pistol round after he picks up a USP as well. Punishes them with their own weapons. Go to round number two. Vault does find the shoulder of six there, takes another 52 HP. No particular stack coming in from MVS this round, though. 2-2-1. Two, two, it's going to be one player towards the A side, and that will be happy. At this point, though, obviously, with the rifles in hand as well, they've got three of them. See the hold back, do some damage, see if there is a stack going on, and stick as a five-man unit when you finally commit to a bomb site. Phelps, top of the drop already. Same position again. Going to clear off toward the sandbags. I believe that was a smoke, rather than a Molotov. It was toward... The Z connector, I thought that was going to try and go on to bag, so I was a bit confu confused. It looked like it was going to hit the inside of the pillar, but it was a bounce to go a little bit deeper, so. 
Ignore me, is what I'm trying to say, Henry. I try my best. I know, I usually ignore you and you talk too. Yeah. It's fine. So That's why our chemistry is, if everyone's wondering why our chemistry is so good, that's why. We just ignore each other. Yeah. That's how marriages work too. If you ever want to live long in life in a marriage, that's that's how it works. <laughs> is that well done? Okay, let's get back into it. <laughs> it's going to be MBK. Deagle oh, headshot, oh two of them God. towards middle. Takes down Bolts and Phelps and this eco runner, I guess forced by with the Deagles, is working out very nicely for the French side. Luckily stuff to start it off. Lucas will finally stabilize things, perhaps just a little bit with the shot of the AK. It's MBK that does go down, thankfully, because he's reaping the rewards of a great round to start off. Apex trying to capitalize on it, but Lucas will walk in late with an AK. It was just he and his brother remaining Henny. So they do have wow. to reinvest quite a bit into this next round, but as such, winning that, the CTs, as you mentioned in the previous game, won't have anything on round three if they want to buy. Look at these shots. There it is. Lovely stuff there. I thought that was the round tied up. He funnels him towards A as well. There's two players waiting for them. But it was Immortals balancing things out and ultimately winning the round. It's not a huge deal. They still go up against a full this round. So in terms of the money, they should keep five players alive. They're all will there. It's a four-man stack and a B-Rush coming in here from the Brazilian. So still gets a first kill. Okay, it's not going to be as exciting as maybe that builds it up to be. Should be quite a simple procedure here as all the kills go in favor of Immortals. A B-Rush, not something I'm a huge fan of on those anti-eco rounds, but... If you get the first kill and you get something rolling, the momentum works in your favour. They run into the stack and don't drop a single frag there, so they're absolutely fine. Match pause, I assume this will be tactical. Tactical? That's not a word. Tactical. It's That's when you take yeah. a technical pause <laughs> yeah. that is, oh no, my sound card doesn't work, and then you use it as a timeout. We don't allow that anymore. Remember, you're not allowed true. to talk during yeah, tacticals. Yeah, that's what I meant. Maybe yeah. it was a, a that's, Those don't exist anymore, but that is a good word for it. You've gone back in the past and named something that no longer is relevant. Rolling back the years, as you would say. That is, yeah, what I would, I wish I could. 2006, yes. let's go back to there. I think my tweet made that clear. I'd roll it right back to 2006. Yeah, never look back. Never. Um, well, would be looking forward then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you would, you would go back? Yeah. In a heartbeat? It might take, it depends on how fast my teleportation and time device is. It might take more than a heartbeat. Well, I'm just thinking, the position you are now... Yeah, like financially and stuff, probably a lot stronger. You could get that body back I, right but, now. You could get that thing body is, back I, in six I, months. I know what uh, websites I need to patent to make money. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. To be fair, if you ever have time travel, you're going to be doing well anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, you would be absolutely fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, let's get back into it. We do have money available for MVS. Kenny S, Glass Cannon AWP. One of the absolute best orpers on the planet right now. We'll see whether he can step up here. A lot of pressure, though. No real grenades to see these all defuse kids. This is a difficult round for MVS. Two smokes remaining as we get to the 1 minute 30 mark. Not a great position to be in. We said this map has a lot of options for the CD to go aggressive. These are the sort of rounds you want to do it on. Try and find that first frag. Not going to be giving too much away as of yet, though. Pretty much a default round from the Brazilian side as well. Apex gets himself in towards the vents. Still have got an SMG. Make it two for Immortals as well. They win this round. It's absolutely massive for them. A guaranteed eco next round for the French side. So Phelps, he's going in first. He smoked out the vents as well. But Apex still are going to be in there, waiting. Why am I saying my own name? <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I read something and then I got confused. Lucas getting back to mid is going to start to flush out MBK behind the box. But that was only for Phelps to get closer. Just got the information on him. And Vents not quite pushed back with that Molotov. But they know there's one inside of it. They can deal with that accordingly. Or can they? Because Apex is able to find Phelps immediately and then drops back into the site. Happy top of highway. He's going to find a kill onto Lucas. Right after finding Bolts as well. He's in good position on the edge of the catwalk. He has to give up position in the A site, but that's where Kenny steps up. Can't find the second. It is going to give the information, and Sixer will take Kenny down through the smoke. A lovely A hole there from Envious, and it was Kenny S with that glass cannon managing to stay alive. I thought that second flick was going to hit as well. Looked dead on to me, but it's happy stepping up there from the ladder position. Finds two kills towards Highway. Like we said, you don't necessarily have to challenge towards the middle position. It's not a bomb site. People need to remember that. You obviously can go for the first kill there. Apex was in towards the vents, is listening out for the footsteps, doesn't necessarily have to challenge himself. They go out towards Long End, well, towards Highway, just managing to find two frags. So very nice stuff overall from Envious. A good first round. Much needed one as well. Oh, okay, Phelps. The Molotov's not quite deep enough for the CT set. Apex thinks he's saved across towards Highway. Taken down. That's a bit of a blunder. That should be a set piece in terms of the way you throw that incendiary. It should be guaranteed to go in deep enough every single time. Potentially just threw it over there and hope for the best, and they get punished for it. So Sloppy Pay will be taking care of that. Immortals 5 on 4. So we hit the woman at 20. And that lob smoke inside B that we're seeing on our screen, I think, is a little bit light. So they've had to throw a second one because they're trying to keep Kenny baited into the corner. So it's a little bit extra utility used right away inside of the B site. Pretty sure there was a second. Maybe not. Maybe it didn't go out. Either way, they're going to be waiting, hoping that that goes back over that direction. Bolts is the one watching that down from the skylight or toxic room. 
Still mid, they want to put pressure on Immortals. Sam stiff again! Oh, that nearly okay. cost them. MDK <laughs> was perfectly in the crosshairs. Lucas, twin brother, you would have thought the chemistry was there. Steps in front, takes damage, and keeps him alive a little bit longer, but does convert the kill in the end. It's going to be Sixer that is down to 19, but good work to find one kill on his own. The problem is that they've lost Kenny S, so both players on the B site gone immediately on the entry. It's on to just happy. And it's a one versus four with Bomb being planted. Massive round for Immortals to pick up as well. This is a full reset for Envious here, so it will be 4-1. Happy probably just wants to save this weapon at this point, at least to have something to work with there. We saw it in the previous game on Overpass as well. One or two M4s can be a difference maker. You get that first frag, pick up an AK. It's something to work with at least. It's definitely not ideal, but it's much better than having full default pistols here. So Happy just listening for any Immortals retreating from the B-side here in this little connector position. And we'll see whether he can actually find anything here as they are starting to surround him slightly from T-spawn. It is a position you will check when you're waiting for little players hiding in the midst here. So 3-1. Envious concede another after winning the first gun. Yeah, This will set them back quite heavily financially. Well, they managed to keep three players alive in that round. It's not going to be great. They keep the M4, sure, but it's, it's not really like they can force into this round. I think Apex has got a CZ and some body armor. Similar story for MBK with the Deagle. But uh, they've got some smoke and flashbangs here. We'll keep our eyes on Happy and see where he decides to go here. There will be a boost up towards middle. Happy's going to be on the A side. He was the difference maker before when they came towards this area. Maybe he can step up once again. Bolts lobs the nade in toward B this time. No one playing up close. No smokes to cover off Kenny's corner position, so they are changing it slightly and going far more passive. In fact, changing it tremendously as we see it from this perspective, stacking up this site. Bait them in toward a close angle on top of the platform. So far, Immortals, though, playing quite disciplined. Looking the better of the two Brazilian teams today. Yeah, I would say so. That's probably fair so far. 4-1. Should be yeah, five. let's not get to I mean, yeah. it's very early days, yeah. but just to make note, they are looking uh, quite composed as Steel's going to spray through an open doorway. Spotted up MBK in behind the forklift, but didn't do anything of it. Do you remember that rumor when they were going to remove the roof of the forklift and then never did? Oh, they, they, they played around for over ages. There were lots of different proposed ideas, and I think it was, um, what's his name? FM Pone, is that how it's and -E. He likes it spelt out. Well, there you go. He was like showing us lots of different ideas for it. I think this obviously is the final iteration of it now, but... We'll see what happens here. Still a 5 on a 5. We have got Happy alive, and it will be actually an A-side of commitment. Happy's retreating, though. This is actually the worst time of him fall back. He will go back towards the truck, but smoked out for now. Ooh, okay, nearly times that right. Instead, it's all wrong. Steel walks through. Bolts follows up. The former LG, now Immortals players, convert for two kills on the entries. Lucas finds another, but it's going to be Steel that falls to the end. Happy just left over and hung out to dry as Henny finds a gap through the smoke to take him down from the main garage. It's on to Apex, and he's just going to wait. CZ75 in hand toward the truck because exactly that. Exit kills and potentially guns. That gun should actually get thrown forward of the corner and bounce toward the truck, but it's bolts to take him down first. So still, we don't really have that much money available for Envious here. MBK with $2,000. They will be buying up into it. I don't think they can get the AWP, you know. Famous so far for Kenny S. Apex with the M4. Same with Sixer as well. I think MBK just has to be on the 5-7 at this point. Similar story as well for Happy. This is not looking great. It's definitely 6-1 territory. Boost up once again. Once you get in this kind of mindset and you're very confident you actually just boost up towards middle and you know you've got control of the money situation you know they haven't got the AWP necessarily or the incendiaries to hold off those fast pushes that's when you do the keep is applying the pressure time and time again controlling the economy and so far it's working very nicely for Immortals towards events here Lucas this would be a bit of a crazy play they know you're actually in that position as well the flashbang they can definitely turn away from and I think with this man advantage he doesn't need to commit to that position by himself but six I do like this up goes Kenny and down goes Phelps good shot as he walks back around the corner immediately quick shoulder peek in the first one this brings it back to three versus three. Still no gun, though. On to, excuse me, on to Happy. It's going to be a Kenny caught, as Henny was waiting the whole time. Henny versus Kenny. Isn't that like Kenny versus Benny? Uh, that's, that's a Canadian show, isn't it? Uh, it might be. I don't know. I'm not Canadian. Lucas takes down Happy. It's going to put Sixer into the corner. And this now gives him information. That Molotov throne was far too clear that he was there, and he would be redrawing the gun. So Sixer capitalizes now on the M4. But Lucas still has bomb. He's over toward the A side. It's segregated from his teammate far away, in fact. But Sixer has not read this correctly. In fact, I think he's just going to hold on to the AK at this point in time. Yeah. Well, this is the, the point. Look. Oh, I thought he was going to get flanked out. 
We have got a kit for six, we can't go for this. This is the, when you're an in-game leader, this is a dream scenario to be in, right? Your players are hitting their shots, you're getting decent spawns to go towards middle. You know, you're bullying them in terms of their money as well. They don't have the incendiaries to hold you off those fast plays towards middle. Immortals, a team with so many good aimers in there. You say, right, this is boost up towards middle, get some mid control, smoke off connector, flash up, let's just swarm them, and you can see it working very well every time. A little bit of a recovery there from Envious. We did find a couple of kills with Sixer, but ultimately the round was already won at that point. It will be 6-1 here on the T side of Cash. Sixer does manage to save an AK-47. I'm looking at the money going forward. There are third save lost, but I think this has to be another eco map. This is getting very desperate for the French side. A problem that did plague this lineup, especially when MBK was calling as well. The, the constant force buys that let them down. They could never really get that deep in the big games. It's like the semi-finals of tournaments. They finally overcome their nemesis at the group stages when they're in that huge stump. And then I remember the games that one that stands out. I can't remember the event. I think it was Katowice when they were playing against Navi. And on train, it was like they were force buying all the time. It was really difficult to watch. But uh, economy has always been a little bit of a problem for MVS overall. But should be able to recover next round. They've taken another eco here. They'll be on fourth state loss bonus. So $2,900 coming in on top. And we'll be Immortals finding this first frag towards there. They go very simple stuff. This second frag as well. Happy makes it interesting though. Takes down Bolt to still alive for now and gets a second as well. Yeah, Lucas though, as always, able to find counter frags inside of the site. Picks up a very important one. Clear up one but leaves himself in the open. And Apex, he gets there just in time to deny the plant. Still a minute and 17. It's not the end of the world for them. If he'd stayed alive, brought this to a two versus two, giving Kenny a bit of a chance to get closer. It might have gotten interesting considering the low HP on Steel, but I think he's heard him jump over the barrels. They should know he's in this corner, and you can see Henny's positioning himself with the wall to his back accordingly behind the red crate, already sussing out this exact position. Uh, AWP in place. Kenny goes down. Well, there it is. We do get Immortals in a very, very strong position, but certainly not over yet. Ven Envious can still win the half, let's remember that. So you can never get too carried away. Even these kind of score lines, you have to be... Having that mental fortitude as the CD side to pick things back up. They have got the AWP in the hands of Kenny S. Not going to be the double AWP setup just yet. Still haven't quite stabilized, of course. So we're going to round number nine. I'm sure they'll be expecting the Kenny S AWP to come out at this point. You can see him being a little bit more defensive this time. A player in towards T spawn. That's Henny of his AWP. Looking for any sort of B storage aggression there. CT is going to be getting a player up towards Vents. That'll be Apex once more. They're not going to be fast pushing towards middle. Now they know the incendiaries are there for the CTs. They're not going to try and rush that position. They're going to try and hold things back, wait for the utility to be used, and then try and take it with the smokes. You obviously have those crisscross smokes towards middle where you can actually take the vision away from connector and short box as well. Molotov the vents, that's probably quite standard for most teams these days. But just waiting for a counter boost to come in there. This is Molotov to kind of flush any CTs out that might be in close range. Apex waiting for an opportunity to find a way to get into mid. He's gone up middle as we see it. Busted out the vent and gone back into the burrow himself without getting boosted up. So he's trying to find a way to make that viable. And there's no Molotov yet in place to try and push him back either. There's only... I said there was only two. There's actually three. Lucas has one as well on the T side. Vent gone out on the inside now so he can back away if he needs to. They'll have heard that, Phelps, definitely, because we're on his perspective and I heard it, so they definitely could. Well, maybe you're, you've got super hearing. I, you're actually right. Uh, didn't think about that, did you? Uh, well, just naturally, you know. I don't, I don't think about the things that I'm gifted at, which means I think a lot. Phelps is gonna take down MBK. Started off. That's the way through. Kenny's gonna play this perfectly. And Molotov's gonna go off to his left. Limits his angles, but he's got one in front. Tries to go aggressive. Can't hit the shot at lockers and knows the door's open. So instead goes defensive. And this is where Kenny shines. He's up close angles, but a missed shot. And Lucas is able to get him behind the box. He's already gotten quad cleared. Apex again, same position he was in last time. Is going to be found by Hetty, who's looking quite solid in the AWP so far. Yeah, complete change of approach here from Immortals this time. The very slow default at the start of the round. Running the clock down. Right down to about the 22nd mob if they fully committed towards that A side as well. CDs didn't really have that much utility to work with. Kenny S can't find a single kill there as well. Like you said, normally his bread and butter. Those close range positions. T's all around him. Everyone trying to phase him one by one. He should be nailing those shots but can't find any form just yet. And it will be Sixer. At this point, he does see still run past, but just wants to stay alive. Guarantee he can actually get that frag. Takes down Steel. Doesn't manage to recover an AWP though, but it gives his position away. He actually repositions towards the white truck here. I think you can see his feet just about, so he does jump up into that little side. What would you call that? Um, Trevis. The curb? Yeah, curb. He jumps up in the curb. The, 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 uh, the, the loading bay? Doors. It's yeah. the loading bay. The loading is what it really yeah, is. Okay. We've got a pause called in by Envious, and I'm not surprised being down 8-1. I mentioned Henny. Talk about impact. He's closing out kills late in the rounds. He only has six overall. In fact, right now, everyone's fairly close on the server except for Lucas, who's just dominating. Yeah, and I did paint the picture of Kenny S. This is his home map. He'll be lighting it up. He's on 1 for 9 right now. I'd say he's homeless. 
Yeah, he's been uh, kicked out of his house and evicted. Immortals. Yeah, evicted and Immortals have moved in, it seems. And especially Henny, he's having a great game so far. We'll see what happens. The tactical timeout comes in. The money's still not great, though. What kind of loss bonus? It must be maximum at this point. It is. He just got a maximum. So lots of money coming in, but still not enough to really buy. The CT side is a little bit different to the terrorists, of course. You need more money to get that full buy-in, especially from the Orps as well. They do take a pause here, but unfortunately, the pause won't really amount to too much. All they can really do is bring Deagles, CZs, and body armor. Maybe you want to just go for something like, let's flash into a main and push it. Let's, we've got decent spawns here. Flash in, try to see if we can find the AWP at the start of the round. Maybe someone's being a little bit careless. Maybe push B as well. Those would be my two calls at this point. You're kind of limited with just the pistols. They've got one smoke, so what would they do with that smoke? Okay. Maybe smoke towards main and middle and try and boost over, something like that. Very limited. Let's see what they decide to do. Yeah. Three players towards A. Will they be pushing aggressive at all? Kenny's getting aggressive indeed, as you say. All the way up inside of Checkers already with the smoke off from Sixer just trying to distract and pull away from that. Why smoke inside of the site if you're not playing? There is the intended thought. These guys will be easily fooled. They're all system pros. Phelps with a quick flash towards the bottom of highway as well to push anyone back who's trying to take advantage of that smoke at the bottom of White Box. So they can't peek, but they can easily play on the backside of it. You can see Phelps' positioning. Good read as well to find NBK inside of Z. Or should I say Z? Yes, if you're British. Well, I'm Canadian. Yeah, do you, do you use Z there We well? use Z. Good. And we say O U R for Keller. For Keller red on the wall because Phelps has found Kenny, and he's found Sixer and Steel. And when Apex, it's all into Happy once again, who has to rotate back over. Just look for weapons, look for X. It's found one. Now the problem is he's got to go past the vents and back onto the hut to grab it. I think he could jump from there and press E. It was on the ledge, but either way, he's caught by Steel. I think the double orb setup probably has to come in here for the CTs. Desperate times, calls for desperate measures. We'll see where they decide to do it. Sixer can certainly afford it. Um, presumably, that would drop over to Happy if he does it. There it is. Double orb comes in. It's in the hands of MBK for now. I was going to say, like I said, Happy surely could take that, but it looks like MBK will be stepping up to the plate this time. Double orb setup. I did mention this before. It does allow you to be a little bit more mobile with your fragging unit, the three rifles. Maybe challenge middle, leave the rifles or the orbs, I should say. On either side, Torrance and Sixer going aggressive there towards B. He goes down, and he's actually one of the few players towards that side of the map. Apex now locked in the vents. Molotov out for now. Can't drop in, but doesn't look like his T commitment just yet. They'll be holding towards B storage, waiting for repositions or reactions coming in from Envious at the moment. Happy playing a close position. I still want to see someone utilize the smoke that Andrews talked about in Theorycraft. Every now and then he's got something. Which one? Uh, you throw it under the, just the ledge right in front of where Happy was playing. It lands above the garage. So it, the problem is it's like it's it's way too readable. But it lets them walk in, focus quad, and if they slip under, they can't see you, and you can see them. It's kind of one way from where he's right. playing. But it's it's basically you right-click it onto the door. Yeah, but there's a smoke it's there, right? It's really yeah, obvious. Be like, hmm. It works you in pubs. You might not be it would, never, you, but it would never work in this level. They'd know. Yeah. That's fair. Well, execution coming in, presumably, here. Yeah. Happy giving his position away now. He has a step up. That's a, oh, oh, he's that's a horrible. He's, does, oh, it may work out for him, though, because they overlook. They think quad's clear. He's pushed far enough forward that Steel can't see him. If he had gone in without being flashed, he might have been able to take the fight. But Kenny's pulled up against Bolts. It may still work out, as they've got a two-man advantage. Make it now just one remaining as Henny inside. Rather, it helps inside. It's a kill. Henny went down, but then Happy swings in behind. And okay, Happy. Desperate play. Did you think he was going to go for it? Uh, I, I'm not sure why Happy would do that. That's a crazy play from him. He goes down into two on one of Phelps there as well. That's uh, a pretty audacious move from him, but still well recovered from Happy after getting that flash to the face as well. I thought he was done for, but it's only the player that commits from squeaky door. No one comes from main main, so obviously the T's don't know that. It's just uh, very risky for Envious overall there, but they managed to find round number two here. Still got the double orb set up in hand as well. Here comes those Smith smokes Ooh. and Kenny S towards B this time. Doesn't hit the first shot, but does get information that two terrorists are on that. This position. is a problem. He's got players pushing vents in mid. He's got players both already up inside of the skylight room. The smokes are going to go off to get him out of there. Just barely a time. Nearly gets two. It's MBK and Kenny with one into Lucas. Phelps will go back in and find him in the end, but that nearly worked out to be two for one. In the end, it's going to be just a one-man advantage, oddly enough. As Apex stands above the open door, Bolt is going to go through. Not see him dropping down, takes the bomb as well. He's got the position now to allow Sixer to swing out. He was inside the corner, but standing in the smoke. Kenny sees his kneecap. Down to, from a 1 versus 4 to a 1 versus 3. The pawns coming into the next round, but Apex is going to end this one now. Well, here we go then. NBA starting to arrive, it seems. Some of the big names lighting up the scoreboard. 9-3, and I think we have got a tactical timeout here from Immortals. Their money is... Old in a... rules? Yeah, I think we are. It is the old two-minute. Which is fine.
I think that's what they've done in their own season. It's uh, so. penalties in hockey. What, two minutes? Yeah. Well, depending on what you do. I used to get five and ten minutes. but <laughs> Yeah, well. Two minutes is normal. Doing the things you were doing, I'm not surprised. It's true. I, I just, I really liked making fun of referees. It was fun. <laughs> Seems like a good idea at the time. Oh, it's a great idea. Yeah. Thing is, misconducts don't put your team on a penalty kill. So, you know, it's getting a lot of ice time that game. It was up around, you know, 23 minutes in the second period. I just say, you know what? I need a breather. I'm just, hey, ref, I'm going to go to the box for 10 minutes. Usually it'd say something a little different than that, but... Uh, a <laughs> bit more colorful. A bit more colorful. Yeah, yeah. it would work out perfectly. Well, then the tactical timeout isn't there for Immortals. The money's not in a fantastic position for them. They do not get enough to get uh, three AKs and an AWP, but uh, it will be Lucas, who's just on the Deagle for now. So, not amazing, but still certainly playable. We'll see what happens as we round number 13. Double AWP setup seems to be working quite nicely. Yeah, I don't think Kenny S really has been going ham at all, but MBK found a couple of kills in the previous round. Kenny S got aggressive this time. Does he push through the smoke? He does. This is the Kenny S we know and love, but... Uh, Mortis is about to say, not giving anything away. Mortis runs into his cross like that and manages to get that man advantage for Envious here. It's going to be, at this point, CT's falling back. They've done the hard work at this point. Six is still a little bit aggressive, though. He could find the second frag pretty easily. There it is. Five on three. Very well done from Envious so far. Steel and Phillips, the only two remaining. What a turnaround in this game, considering it was 8 1 when they called their timeout on the Envious this side. This is why Immortals is trying to respond. Should be an eco after this as well. So, Envious, so they win this round. Guaranteed two almost, but Phelps is fun a frag. Phelps flashes himself back through the smoke cleverly to get quick. Spots one at quad. Goes for the fast pre-fire single tap. Would have been quite pretty. Vent now blown out. That'll push the defense to split because they now have to consider the fact that they could be going over toward B as well. So they can isolate this down to two versus two. They've still got to get ground, and Happy's gotten much closer. Boost up. Does he hear this? Not quite. Not yet. They're going to double peek. Does he find the first shot? Certainly does. Oh, and Phelps overlooked him. He was too close. So Happy finds both, and exactly as you mentioned, it's going to be an eco now. For Indeed. Well, nice work from Envious there. They're starting to get in the zone a little bit. A little bit of a Tech slow burn maybe. Uh, well, we lost Spencer on. Yeah, Tech uh, Nines. Third, yeah. So there's Tech Nines and some body armor as well. This map, what strangely is actually really good for the set pieces, if especially if you have Tech Nines as well. A few smokes going over to the A site. They've got three of them as well. That's where you're almost certainly going to go. You do a smoke towards uh, Highway, one on the left hand side of the bomb site, one towards potentially Quad, maybe MBK, flash through and try to use the Tech Nines. But the CT's going aggressive here. Kenny hits the first shot. Can't find the kill though. That's even better. Headshot towards Steel. And they can fall back at this point. Smoked out the T's. They'll go for the set piece. I think that probably. Suggest they have to go somewhere else at this point. They will be boosting up towards middle. They wanted to do those smokes towards A. But this is what we're talking about. CTs being assertive and showing their dominance in those choke points at the start of the rounds. Now they get that double up rolling again. MBK waits. Finds Phelps. Finds another. Lucas goes down. He's looking Here strong. We go. Misses that one when he's blinded up. But he's still alive. Will fall eventually. That'll put one of the ops down. But Apex is there with bomb in his hands. Easily picked that up at the end of the round. Should they elect to keep it? And he's done exactly that. So they'll keep the double up moving forward. Bring it to 9 5. Only four rounds the difference. Remember, we often talked about in the early days of Cash becoming an international map rather than just the North American version that was originally played, the non-official Valve version. Being a CT-sided map, even in the early days, it was the same. Now it's 9-6 on average, so Envy is very much in this game. Absolutely. And not 9-6, I say, for the T side on average. Well then. Now with money and some rounds under their belt as well. Envious looking like they were That's getting confident. Sick. That's actually a wall That bang. is so sick. Through the second mid garage, he fires to the <laughs> left, knows the angle where he's hugging him beside Hut and drills him. That is so sick. Well, you don't see that every day. And, uh, and he takes down Kenny S as well. That's such a huge scalp to take in the grand scheme of things. Oh, MBK MB almost certainly dead. Okay, then MBK. Apparently he's the open out. Yep. He's actually leading the charge here with this weapon. He finds a head on towards Phelps and potentially keeps the round alive. It's some nice close shots. We talked about Kenny being good in that game. Sixers gone to the second AWP in this case with Kenny down, so this is going to leave them with three and two ops. There's only one on the other side. They've got three AKs. They've got faster potential to charge into a site should they be able to isolate either of those players. And Sixer right now, he's checker room at B. He has some vision. No smokes deployed just yet. That one's dissolved, but he's gone back inside of the site, so he's given up a lot of ground for them to start to execute on. And not only that, putting himself at tree, very easy to be smoked off. Fortunately, it's Molotovs instead. So Immortals may still give him an opportunity. And he wants to go to Headshot, which will leave him in a finer position yeah, if they do come in with numbers. Just down to six, uh, unfortunately for him. He has got the AWP, so if he gets a one kill, stays alive, just like this. Now, he wants to hold him off as long as possible. Goes to the reface there, and he takes him down. The retakes will be very difficult now for the CT. He's pretty far removed from the situation, but MBK has been hitting some good shots so far, but he's only got 16 HP. Good pick up by Steel as well in mid to take Happy. It's only MBK on that 16 HP, and Henny's already positioned accordingly. Now, the problem is he's got Bomb. 
Could throw that off to his teammate. Instead, he's going to slow creep this. And MBK just slightly aimed too high. Had to pull down. Didn't give him enough time, Henny. So 10-5. Immortals will finally convert. We wanted to see yeah, the this angle. Yeah, sick. Don't... I thought he no-scoped that. I was going to say, don't tell me. Boom. That's still sick. Yeah, that's like... You sometimes like do some damage through that. It's quite rare to get the headshot like that. It's really cool to see. You're absolutely right. 10-5 though. Envious doing pretty well to recover from that position. They had a horrible time with the money, getting shut down across the board. Like I said, Immortals were almost bullying them at one point. They could read the money very well, very fast, and assertive play from them. Didn't have to fall back to the set pieces. Envious got back into it though, and certainly still within a shadow winning this game. Their pistol round will be towards mid for now. Maybe some A presence as well. They have one smoke and a flashbang. To me, that suggests that one smoke towards highway and just going out very quickly. We'll see what they decide to do. Looking for a pick first, it seems. What have we got going on towards there? We've got Lucas and Henny in towards that MBK corner. So Henny's trying to bait in. There's only one player there. He tries to stay alive. He'll probably fall back towards quad and leave Lucas in that position to potentially mow down multiple terrorists in front of him, but it's going to be bold soaping things up. That's towards Squeaky Door on Apex. Oh. This is looking very promising so far. Yeah, it is. I have to say. One kid as well on steel. Keep that in mind. Phelps is going to back away from mid. Remember, he's the one that's low, so he can't take the fight. They'll rotate over instead, which is the smart call. They'll go to the position to try and take down the BK. Shots coming in. Glock from afar can't do it. He's on 2 HP. Still alive, importantly. Yeah, well, they haven't got a real read as to where the T's are going just yet. It will be a finish at the B side, but they haven't got the smoke for CD spawn. That's a massive problem, Matt. You can see Steel now. He's going to have full vision and then crossing. They have got a flashbang, but they're going to have to just take a deep breath and cross over. They managed to get the bomb in, in the site as well, so I'm we can get a plan here at this point. Bomb does go down. Smart jump on that cross as well. Bolts, ooh, hmm. nearly has a lineup on Kenny. That headshot was definitely there, but I don't think he would have anticipated it. It would have taken... Some very quick reactions as Sixer positions himself for anyone walking back in from the tree. And right now there's going to be three. But they all want to go. One drops down over top from Heaven. Sixer, he's still not found in this position. They'll drop into his crosshairs, but can he find the kills? Already gets one. Kenny's followed up to take down Phelps. And he's immediately there walking back in for Immortals. And it's just Kenny remaining. Doing what he can, mind you. Switches to the burst. I think he was anticipating them being closer. He will go down and Immortals will take 11. A little bit close there. It was the 5 and 4 in favor of Immortals, and that crossed towards the B side as well. I thought Emmy was going to lose a player there. They managed to bait the shot out from the CT waiting, and then, like you said, Kenny S jumping across efficiently gets the plan down. That's good news for MBS. They didn't win the round, but still something to work with here. I would assume at this point, MBS will buy up on the third. A lot of teams are starting to buy up on that second round, but you do need, I'd say, four frags in total for that one. And they do manage to get three. But uh, it won't be the force, but they're going AKs on the third air, it seems. So three UMPs, two M4s, and a little bit of an A rush here. Not going to be a rush with four and towards the A storage. You've got no nades to work with, just PT-50s. Try and get the bomb down any way they can. There's one player in the form of Happy towards B storage. Not really sure what he's going to do on that side of the map, but let's see if his teammates can get rolling here and maybe get a bomb down. Very unlikely map with no nades. Never say never. And he is waiting though with the M4 in fact, he's gonna get aggressive. He's had enough of waiting for them to walk into the crosshairs, so jump up. And that'll pull them in. Allow Bolts to pick up two and three, in fact, to close out the round. All on the UMP. That'll build them up a good amount of cash. On cash. Do you have gloves yet? No, I'm not, I'm not spending 500 pounds on unboxing <laughs> those. I, yeah, I don't unbox anything anymore. Right. I unboxed a Stat Track Jaguar AK. That's the, uh, that, that was it. I th that was many, it was, that many was, years ago. Yeah, it's never going to get better than that, so we'll just quit while I'm behind. Well then, the first gun round then, MBS uh, do buy up in the third round. We have got a chance then to do some damage here. MBK through the smoke finds a steal as well. That's a good way to kick things off. Five and four in their favor. As quickly as that is the CT smoke going down to take away the vision from this terrorist, but uh, they spam through correctly. And lead to a kill, and it will be two M4s, two UMPs now to hold off a Kenny SAWP as well. He hasn't had the best game so far, but always room to get back into it. I called my uh, stat track Jaguar AK. I called the stat track Shagwire. Nice. I don't actually call it that. Apex has a gap in the smoke, trying to spot toward quad instead. He's going to commit over toward forklift instead. This can give them a cross potential on entry, but they've got Henny to deal with up close to that doorway. And we can see his position. He's holding on to what we talk about being the bonus round on the UMP. Bolts nearly gives himself up, but better still spots. Kenny gets him down, and Henny shuffles out. That is really well done from Immortals. Time peak. Bit of a risk in doing so, but that's kind of the point of the bonus round. You might as well take the risks. You want the money. Phelps. He definitely spotted a player above yeah. him as well. Happy's been found. Happy, I think, found him as well. So this should be his kill. Indeed it is. 
Well, there it is. Should be the round now in favor of Envious. Gonna take a lot of work here from Bolt. He can't get anything done. MBK blows his brains out there. And there will just be Lucas with the UMP. So what seemed like a successful start there from Immortals. Pushing towards that A storage area. Finding two kills as well. Should amount to MBS taking this one in the end. It came down to that boost frag. That happy got taken down at that point. I thought, I think that would have been the round going in Immortals' favor. But it doesn't play out like that. And it will be Envious winning the third round here. After getting the bomb down in the pistol. One AK saved by Lucas. I think their money mm, is going to be out. So, 1400 they probably can't buy. They would have enough, like, UMPs, a couple of M4s, and this AK saved as well. Definitely tempting, but at this point, you have 12.5. I don't think it's worth. Like, maybe get some P250s and some CZs with the AK stacked towards the bomb site. See what we can do. Definitely not worth a force buy, though, Matt. I'm going to pit that out there right yeah, now. It's, yeah, no, I, like, I like that you're smart with your money, Henry. Yep, yeah, let's go a long way in life. Not in real life, of course, but... Uh, yeah. In the game, <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So Lucas, you think you do. <laughs> Lucas could drop a gun if he wanted to. This is like they could force it, but it's just not worth it. It's like they've got the game in the palm of their hand. It's up to them whether they just clench it now or throw it away. We'll see how they approach the situation with a single AK in this particular round. It's going to be mostly a stack over toward B, with the exception of Phelps, who has a deagle trying to get some shots and a little bit of information in mid. Should they elect for a fast rotation, should they need to, over toward the A side. There's been no contact on that A position as of yet. They've got most of the attention on the Envious side toward mid. And when I say mid, I include the vents in that because MBK has already made his way inside of those. So this actually could be encouraging for what is still a partial stack on the B side. So we have got Lucas at that AK-47. And this could be a B play, like you said. MBK into all that vents area. He's just kind of peaking at the moment, seeing what's available. Yeah, he's going to spot him back towards CT as well, gets that shot. Now this is where things could change, because they start to peak highway, they won't spot a single player. And does that mean they're playing passive, or does that mean there's just no one in the A site? They've got to figure that out, and they are playing very slow and responsible in this sense as well. You talk about anti-ecos all the time, teams being over-aggressive, the last thing you want to do is walk into a stack without at you least just, identifying it. You just got to do everything you can to eradicate risk. That's the idea of an anti-eco. You don't want to just rush bomb sites and take a chance. Yes, you like it's likely you're going to win them, but if you just want to guarantee them, just say you play them, stick together as a team, find that first pick, then stick as a fire and refrag together. But now they are going into the B site. There's still guns here, three of them on the platform. Molotov will shuffle them out after good damage, but Bolt finds one. The AK comes back into it, but Lucas can't land shots. Apex takes him down. And that could be it, and yes, hello, where did you come from? Well, through mid, Happy finds bolts flanked out. Seven rounds now for Envious, but like you say, they play the economy game, so they'll buy into this. 4,800 for Lucas. Indeed. And he's gone to his AWP, and Lucas is going to buy a rifle. There's no way they're going to go double up. Well then. It's glass cannon, though, for Henny. Yep, not the best. No diffuse kits for any of the CTs here. One incendiary, that will presumably be used towards middle. Phelps is in that position, doesn't decide to use it just yet. It's going to take a little bit of a risk there. Could have been a fast play from MBS. And MBK looks very confident towards middle. This challenging absolutely everyone. It takes down Phelps and his rampage towards that area. The AWP was there as well, but couldn't land the shot. He actually punishes him down to 67 HP. Like you said, no armor. One bullet did it. A lot of damage towards him. And 5 and 4 once again for Envious. Steel, key position here, but presumably would get taken down, but he actually comes out on top on that situation. Too. Yeah. Sixer, I think, was relying on the fire rather than the mechanics because he ran a lot during that spray. Good second Molotov. Bolts uh, nice. gets pushed out. Kenny catches him, just waits for it. Pitcher and the catcher plays both roles, Kenny. Molotov in, shot to close it. MBK is going to take down Lucas and. Envious are far from done in this. You're dead right. Immortals have to be very careful how they approach the rest of this game because this is going to close to. One man advantage, but should it go their way, close to just four round lead. Steals in good position in mini pit. Catches them off just enough, does exactly that. MBK found Kenny, responds accordingly with a pistol, but he's tagged. Oh, and he drops in. He's not simple. Okay. <laughs> Got a bit scary. I thought he was going to land one of the USP shots. That's all it would have taken. Good comms there from Immortals, but he can't find the shot required. Envious, though, is down to that aggression from MBK at the start of the round. To say that's it's kind of nuts he has that much freedom like it's strange to see he's on smoking that position i have to say but still he comes out finds a shot on phelps and the orpa with no body armor has to fall back as well we have a round in favor of envious and they're slowly but surely tightening the gap here it's gonna be another eco for immortals and it looks like mid with the position we're happy oh, my strike first here see he does push in towards mid warehouse but uh punishes him regardless Molly off toward the sandbags as well. Ah. And he can't capitalize. Happy finds yet more inside of mid again. It gets guess if this is one of the maps for Happy. I talked a little bit about how get right esque he's the lurk player. I think he's one of the better players lurking on this map. In fact, of the maps that he lurks, I would say this is his most successful. Apex pushes forward two kills on Mac 10, smartly bought against what was gonna be very little weaponry and armor. 
But just to touch on that, Happy's very good at getting up mid and getting in early. On Cobblestone, we used to criticize. He's gotten better at it, I think, because he's identified it as well, but... Waiting too long at drop and almost being redundant by the time that he gets into the action, he's much better on cash. Yeah, no, he on cash especially as one of the maps. He has been very good on the T side recently. He's actually finding kills. His lurks are actually efficient. He's stopping the rotations, basically just shutting down short, being a, a problem for the terrorists to go into the A side at all. He's very good at staying alive and finding the kills that really matter. So, still in a strong shadow winning this game. It's going to be Immortals with the AWP in Henny's hand once again. Starting to feel a little pressure a little bit more now. On the second half, they picked up two rounds. That was in the pistol in the second. And he goes well as we four in a row now for the French side. A pause comes in. I assume this is tactical. It is on your screen right now, Matt. So, and for Brazilian Counter-Strike. Go on. Who are very uh, proud of, you know, where they've accomplished and where they've ended up in patriotic, the last year yeah. and a half. Patriotic? Yeah, well, yeah. patriotic as well, but just proud in general of, of their performances. If they can't close this game out, it means they play SK in an elimination match. That's One of the two is spicy meatball, isn't gone. It? Yeah. Spicy, stale, crusty meatball. <laughs> Why? Because, I don't know. I just, the spicy meatball sounded delicious. You think it's a good thing. Yeah, I think that's a great match for the viewers. It was great. It's a fantastic match for the viewers, but I was looking at it as a pessimist from the, the Brazilian standpoint, uh, Henry. He didn't follow the narrative. Fair enough. Well, it's fine. I'm not a good author. <laughs> and he, with the glass cannon once again, the money situation for them is now a real problem. As we get into round number 22, we have got a couple of kids here. A lot of shots oh. being fired in, in That's Phelps' direction. Discipline for Phelps not to fire back in because that would have given us tracers away on the M4, A4, and with him already taking very substantial amount of damage, it would have taken one more bullet to find him. So smart to walk away and not take yeah, the fight. You're right. If he started spamming back, that's when he's always like guaranteed his death at that point, right? So just manages to stay alive, takes a lot of damage, but gets away with his life. That's the main thing here. Well, one minute remaining. So they may be setting up for some smokes here, MBS. Haven't really given away too much. They still have four smokes and four Molotovs. And he still wants a B side of the map. He's got quite a lot of backup here as well. A heavy focus here on the B side of the map from Immortals overall. Happy uses that smoke to take the vision away from B main. And he will be by himself as well. His teammates go towards the A side. This is a classic happy lurk coming in. He's going to show his presence there while the execution comes in towards A. Phelps is waiting. Smokes himself in. Let's go on the cross. But the Molotov's going to greet him on the other side. Back two. Even if he backs away in the flash. He's on 15. Oh. Started at 39. Remember at the start of this round. Henny. Oh, they're all touching. They're all holding hands. And eventually one of them's going to be found. It's not the one with the two in front. It's MBK to turn and get the headshot into the AWP. And Sixer. He's going to leave this to a save. Lucas and Steel backing away. If that flash didn't come through, the AWP had an easy no scope. Now they'll plant. Surely. MBK. All right. I thought he lagged out. I was. A little bit confused for a second. Well then, quite an exciting round there, Henny. Definitely with the barrel in two of their faces. Fully flash, couldn't do anything about it. And it's going to be Envious running away with round number 22. Quite convincingly, I have to say. Steel and Lucas, the last players remaining here, just trying to hold on to their weapons. Apex out. I was about to say, looking like he knew exactly where Steel was. Can't find the kill though, does find the position and Kenny S takes him down. Just Lucas now, just in the back of the B site, and you feel like Kenny S is going to take him down momentarily. Decides not to commit to the B-side here. Wants to make sure he keeps his weapon up. Does think about it. Here we go. Take him down. Lucas might be able to survive this one. Unfortunately not. Oh, there it is. Envious now right back in this game. 12-10. Double figures on either side. The money not in a fantastic position for Immortals either. They've had a, got about 3,400 across the board. Maximum loss benefit. This is the replay. Nicely timed. You can see the absolute pandemonium or anarchy in Anaheim, I should say. Anarchy in Anaheim. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I was saving that for the, the big stage, but I've let it go early. You know what? It's fine. I do that sometimes too. I let it go early all the time. It's it's a problem. Happy flashing in. Not just himself, but getting flashing from his teammate over top of middle. Is he able to find one? Smoke's going to conceal the second player pushed up inside of mid. Lucas will go down. It's Phelps was the player that was waiting. He'll capitalize for at least one happy fallen, but they're over toward A already. Never mind the mid-presence. They've got the guns. They've got the strength. They've got the weaponry. And they've got the accuracy, too, as MBK finds Henny before a headshot can be turned against him. It's Henny to get Phelps and Steel remaining behind that of a Steel truck. Oh! 
Nice reaction, Henry. <laughs> Synchronized, because it was a lovely headshot, I have to say, from Steel. We've seen a few digs in this game. Yeah, indeed. Well, that's pretty much all this team will get from this round at this point. Damaging the terrorist economy is not going to amount to too much. You can see Ryan BK, he's got 13 grand and Happy's on 10. They've got so much money, pretty much enough for the rest of the game at this point. And we'll see what kind of buy comes in at this point. Immortals, we said the same thing for Envious. When things get desperate, you normally bring out the double orb set up then. They're not going to go down the same sort of game plan at this point. It's round number 24, one round separating either side. And it will be Henny with the orb. And four and four here. Envious certainly coming to life after a very difficult first half. Right back in this game. Kenyus now starting to find some frags. He's called his teammate. Tebbs on 14. That's a great recovery from what we saw in the first half. Massive recovery. One point game. Brazilians looking lost on their CT side, excuse me. Boots up for steel. It might be time to write. They're already out inside of middle, so they could easily overlook this. He's got into the corner. Good shot potential there. Found from Steel and Phelps takes Sixer as well. This is going to open them up a massive opportunity. Mid completely shut off. Five versus two. Finally a round to convert. Now keep in mind it will be a reset. They've got to stay efficient. Apex hitting one kill onto Henny is enough to do a little bit of damage, but four staying up is very important. You can see that. Big round for Immortals. A sigh of relief. Been a while since they posted anything then. We have a pause coming in from Envious, it seems. It's 13 11. Like I said, their money's absolutely fine. I think that it's kind of working out how they can close this game out. Phelps there through the smoke. That was a little bit cheeky. I like that a lot. You can see them actually showing a little bit more focus towards mid there. Steel's in the vents as well. And it's Envious maybe getting a bit too comfortable with how much freedom they've been given towards that mid area. An adjustment comes in from Immortals, and they finally challenge it. And it will be 13 11. So they managed to keep, like you said, a big reset round as well. They managed to keep, I think it was three players alive in the end. Four, in fact, so not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, it was four. They just got the single kill. Big round coming in here. Yeah, a lot of money invested. Such, yeah, so second pause there on the old rules. Was the old was that? Interesting. Was interesting. What's well, one per half? I thought it was one per... I can't remember. I'm so confused now. Thanks, Valve. I blame you. I just want to blame you for all of our problems. All of my problems, which are most of them are not related. Counter strikes will flash in. Good timing. Happy's gone all the way around the corner, though, behind the garage. He's going to play out towards Squeaky. Pushing through that, you know, on the CT side, but still he sits passively and sprays toward it immediately, just in the off chance they try and do so. And Bolts will come up to compliment Henny, who's got an AWP on the A site. We talk about that often. It's easy to smoke and isolate him off toward the quad position. Standard, otherwise, I have to say. With Phelps waiting, looking for a shot. Can he though with an AWP? That's going to put him in a Molotov. Try and force him out of position, but he's not watching there instead. Spot him a highway. Man, that's going to leave him exposed. Phelps just watched one drop in. Headshot line up, but can he hit the shot? Big shot to find. He's going to bring Bolts back down into the play, but MBK's got him as well, and Envy. This could be, as we said, four players staying alive, no less, but a reset in terms of the money injection. Whether or not they're able to force up in the next round, we'll wait to be determined whether or not we need to do that. They can't convert this one yet to be determined because Steel finds Sixer on the way through and that backs him in toward headshot. He's now a lot closer to Lucas on the site. They can put a crossfire and Envy's going to back away immediately. I think that's the right call at this point. They've seen there's, there's only three players alive, right? You've got the man advantage. You've, you've ascertained there's actually two players towards the back of B. Let's get the bomb towards A. Uh. Boost up in the vents. But Kenny S, he's not messing around here. Does manage to find the kill on headshot. It's just going to be Lucas now. I thought they got a fully full back at that point, but still... Kenny S looking confident now, and I think he has spotted the player as well, finds a second on the bomb side. Yeah, exactly that, looking confident, hitting shots we saw missing in the first half. Three for him in this round, and again, they did back away, they did go more passive in the case that things got worse over toward that B site, but with boosting, one player obviously has to stay, and smartly, they let it be Kenny. So bomb down in the hands of MBK, it's going to leave just... It sounds confusing, I know, because it rhymes so well, but Henny and... Kenny, Henny remaining with his AWP, and they're going to need this. If they can save this... 32.50 right now on Lucas. Phelps on 33.50 at 4,000 for steel. They'll be able to buy into the next. If they lose this, it's going to be a tougher proposition. He's pushed out and Apex waits for him at the bottom of mid. Yeah, there was, there's no way he's going to save that. All, like, all things considered, Kenny S and Co. have got lots of money there. They've got to hunt him down. They know he's got the open hand as well. Some great shots there from Kenny overall. Finds that initial mid pick and then getting towards the B store. I thought they are going to fall back. Like I said, you've worked out as two players there. You can fall back towards A and lock in the rotations to leave Happy there potentially. But Kenny S, he's got other ideas. It is going to be another eco. And should, presumably, tie things up as well at 13-13. It's always a chance to win these rounds of the Deagles. It's very unlikely. But... Uh, or two man stack from the CD towards middle. Phelps thinking about pushing through the smoke, but decides to boost instead. This could be interesting. Steel getting tagged up quite heavily down to 55. Kill distribution, by the way, is dead even top on each team. Can't take it back, actually. Happy's one higher. 19 is the highest for Envious. They've also got the lowest on Sixer at 13, but then it's 18 to 16. And he's on 15, so the spread's fairly even. Everyone's stepping up at times and 
failing at others. That's just the way nature of Counter Strike, really. But now it's Phelps that wants to try and go. Flash out, catches a headshot, falls okay. away as well. Spots the second as well, knows it's a boost, but does he go again? Because his position's given up, and MDK staring this down. It's a good opening pick to get. It's tempting to go for the gun, and he times it well, or does he? Can't convert the damage because MDK just started to look away and head toward A main. Thankfully, finds the kill with 8 HP, and Sixer, speaking of, is going to take down Bolts inside of the site, leaving Henny for a wide peak, but a flash time. Unfortunately, it was the oh. dead wrong time. Lovely shot from Lucas to avenge his teammate. Lovely as well as he finds Sixer through the box. Lucas brings it down to just NBK. And now that 8 HP, that secondary peak from the boost, it could come to haunt them because it's all that remains for Envious. He's got the AK-47. It's a saving grace in the play. Spots the low HP toward Highway as well. Lucas falls. Bomb down in front. Smokes, according to pick that up. And I don't think he's going to go for a default. He can't possibly elect to do so because Steel could easily spray through. First, he's got to check out the garage. He thinks this is going to be a flank play. He's got a little bit of time to work with to evaluate on 16 seconds. And he's going to expose himself. Steel spots him. Has to hit the shot with the Deagle, though. Not an easy task from that range. And MBK, one bullet's all it takes. Doesn't matter what weapon it is. Has managed at least to get the bomb down. Flash over. He wants to get aggressive. Knows he's pushed up. Gets his back turned and clutches it back for Envious to tie the game. Really intelligent clutch there from MBK. Low HP. You can see the awareness of him. That shot towards short as well was fantastic. Like he just edges in, knows the angles perfectly there. Outplays the 1v1 that Lucas only had the Deagle. He's already done such fantastic work in that situation as well. What a couple of shots those were. And uh, yeah, a round of immortals certainly had a chance, but MBK brings it back in favor towards Envious. There we go into round number 27. Four players towards B storage. We haven't seen this from Envious as of yet. They're going to be sending it Sixer in very quickly indeed. The smokes and Molotovs have been deployed. I think they're going to fully commit at this point. Six up. Doesn't find anything close range just yet. Just trying to bait out some utility from the CTs, it seems. Envious have got a very strong B execution with the Molotovs all over the side with smokes towards upper and CT spawn as well. Here it comes. A flash is coming. Next frag. Very important indeed. Smokes off that favor envy on the way through, but a flash in for Sixer and it's panic spray because Lucas finds the opening kill. They have to respond both behind the boxes. That'll be called out as Kenny picks up one on Phelps, but they need to wrap around still. And before the rotation comes in, Lucas has actually gotten aggressive and quite clever in this. They left one inside of the site, but he goes to the small pit. They trade places. They stay alive. That's very clever as he takes back Kenny Happy's. He's done exactly the same thing Happy always does, but Bolts is able to turn back, lurk down through. It's just one remaining. It's MBK. They've given him the site. You can have it, but look at the HP. Another situation, and this time MBK, he was the low HP. He was the prey. In the last round, it managed to pull it off. This time, he could be the predator, but he's got to cover off the crossfire, which is still a potential. Both have guns as well, not pistols to play against, and he gets aggressive to find the first. Still, there's a chance for Lucas to walk back down from the vent. Doesn't hear the drop because he dropped himself and fired at the same time, so doesn't have the information until he spots the Molotov being bounced, the trajectory. No, he's to the right, and they peek it perfectly. Very well done from Immortals. Yeah, great communication there. The incendiary is lovely. You can see the default position where most terrorists will be waiting in those sort of situations. He has to expose himself there. Potentially could have got towards the back right, but decides to stay in the open and try and challenge it. But really good comms there from Immortals, facing the exact same time. Yes, he gets one kill, but no chance of getting that second one. Here's a replay of Lucas doing some fine work there. Like you said, getting that position was great. Takes down Kenny S. Very crucial round here as well. It's actually a pretty difficult situation. The money's okay overall for Envious. You can see they have got the orb out, and I think they will have AK surrounding them. Maybe not all the nades required, but 14-13. It's going to be round number 28 here. No one really establishing any loss bonus here. It can be reset either way. Let's just pause once more. And this tactical, I don't blame at all. 14 rounds. So that of 13 for Envious. Stewart died back and forth. Both teams very low on money. There's no yeah, one that's point. got any cushion. Immortals one away from map uh, points at least. That's the thing. And if they get map point, it'll be a broken Envious when they arrive on it. So this could be... I mean, it's not that we've seen Ecos fail in those situations before, but it's this could be up for the game. And, and from Immortals' perspective, for Envious, it'll put them level and force out one save, which then could put them onto map point. And then it would be play for overtime. That's if all goes according to statistics. Well then, the end ports comes in. It's probably been the best game we've had today, I have to say. Yeah, been a lot of one sided us. Yeah, this has been really good. After a quite convincing first half there from Immortals at 10-5, the Envious certainly have got back into the game here. The buys come in, Immortals slightly wounded. They've got a Famous in the hands of Bolts. Two kids there, lacking grenades as well. I'd say Envious actually has the hand here. As we go into this very defining round of the game. And he's getting aggressive there towards a storage. It's a bit of an exchange, and Lucas gets the first kill. Takes an apex. A little bit more defined as well. 
manages to get away with his life here. So that's going to be Apex caught out of position there. Nice aggressive play. We talk about this on the CD side of cash. Lots of options to push in with flashbangs and try and find those first kills. The, the T's aren't expecting it. That's the sort of results that can come in their way. That push up Lucas toward lockers. They've heard Happy outside of that steel garage at long A. They'll know that he's backing away. So they get a good read on this. Very forward stance still. They'll give up highway, bring Phelps back over, but this opens up B and Steel's the only one over here. He's playing behind the box as well inside of Checkers, which means the site itself can be wrapped on quite quickly, and that's easily Molotov. Stacked no Molotovs way. as well. He's not getting out of that. There's no way with both of those going down, and Sixer with the burn, happy with the kill on Phelps, site wide open. Double Molotov then. He still finds a kill. That's impressive. He knows he's going down, but he manages to take one with him. So it's still a winnable situation here for the CTs. 14-13, three on three. The bomb just being planted as well. They have got one kit, but an open hands of Henny and a famous for bolts. Can they even justify trying to challenge this one? Do it, Kenny. Do it for Envy. Smoke's out. They're trying to walk back through it. Kenny does find Henny, and Sixer takes bolts to the man that was just above. That's going to be the cue to leave for... Lucas, so this is what we talked about. Money's going to be gone for Immortal side, bring it to 1414, and Envy have a yeah, chance right. to convert this to map point. $1,400 next round, and it's 1414. They've got an AK to save. I think at this point, you'd want to be hunting as Envy. So you can take that out of his hands, you're in a great position. In the same mentality, though, if he saves an AK, it's not going to be the end of the world. Trying to guarantee you have three players alive, save the orb as well. They are slightly hunting for it. Happy will be sniffing towards middle, but 1414 comes in. And here's a play from Steel. I actually like this a lot. You can see double Molotov towards that position. The fact he finds a kill, that's the reaction from him. That's pretty much as good as it was ever going to get. They completely outread him in terms of his position, but he does well to find one. That's ultimately not enough to, to win the round here. Kenny S getting fired up on your screen right now as you're going to round number 29. Is this a force buy? I think it is. You know what? They think it's desperate times, right? So why not? Hope for the best here. They've got the AK. Let's try and see what we can do. It is a full investment into round number 29. AK, CZs, Deagles, and a 5-7 against a fully equipped MVS here with a Kenny S AWP as well. Not looking too good. Yeah, not at all. That AK. That single AK. Inside of the B site is at least away from where the activity looks to be from MVS, so if there's anything that they can salvage from this, it is that gun into the next round, but... And he's in prime position to walk in and plant the bomb. Apex will lead the way. Already inside of the smokes, wrapping the red crate. He's spotted by Henny, who does again hit go. a shot with a deagle. That gun is menacing throughout the course of this map. This long map, the 14-14, is we're on round 29. We'll see all 30 regardless. As Happy's going to take down Steel. That's on the off side of the map. Sixers made his way in behind Quad, but they can't yet go for the plant. Look at Phelps. He's pushed all the way through. He's actually gotten in behind Squeaky Door. The problem is that it's... I take it back, it's open. I thought it was going to be closed. He's got an opportunity here. Spots one at the forklift. Headshot potential. Taps away. Finds it. Bomb goes down, so he won't be able to deny, but he'll smoke himself off. And this will pull some of the aggro away. Smartly, Sixer doesn't get overcommitted to that, but has to consider it. Look back and find the angle. Phelps instead finds the kill. Happy will follow up on the bolts, but Lucas finds him, and they've got an AK down to just NBK. They've done so well in this position on Phelps' positioning alone. MBK spraying in, they know exactly where he is, and he's going to get dropped. Great round from Phelps. Can you believe it? Sometimes they're the hardest rounds to win. Look at the reaction there. They're absolutely loving it. Immortals finding a round out of nothing there. One AK and some pistols. It's a deagle work of any that opens things up. And you can see Envious floundering at that point in the A side. Sometimes those are the hardest rounds to win. Everything's on the line at that point. You've lost that first frag. Com starts to fall apart a little bit there, and that could be the round that tilts them off the planet here. 15-14, their money now is in the bin. They get three AKs, but they've only got two pistols to work with. Round number 30, we have gone the full distance here. Immortals find a lifeline in round number 29. They have the AWP as well. Comes down to this one. Can we see overtime here? It's been a great game so far. I hope it happens, but... First shots come in. It's going to be Apex, of course. It's through the smoke. How many ridiculous moments are we going to have in this game? A little bit of luck is what makes magic. Phelps is going to back away and change his angle. Try and play this closer toward the CT side of the red crate. Apex has already made his way up onto the bench at Lockers. We've seen actually Envious use this position quite a few times. Kenny S has been there, I think, three times in total with the AWP. So they're trying to find picks to transitions from quad in behind the site. Instead, though, they'll back away. Man advantage to work with on that luck shot, I have to say. A little bit of luck, no, undoubtedly. Yeah, well then. Five and four, boost up towards middle. Still. Immortals do have the fully equipped players against Envious who haven't managed to salvage the fourth rifle just yet. This number three. As we go into the final play of regulation time, it seems, towards A as well, they will be going and ending up here. They have got three smokes. Molotov to work with as well. CTs are reading it quite nicely. Who finds the next kill? 
makes his way into the corner after the smoke's deployed. And the Molotov check for Quad behind it, but they're passing him. He's going to go which way because he's going to be pinched on. If he pushes oh. through, he's going to be found. He had the opportunity. It was sneaky. It was clever. But there was just too many of them, and MBK is the one to greet him. If MBK had gone by, then he had four lined up. Unfortunately, it's just Lucas and Steel. Overtime. Pens upon this round as Steele gets closer to the corner. His teammates back down at the bottom of highway at mid. going to try and find a long angle, find early information. Also looks for the lurk. Non-existent. Envious Tang is a tight unit in this position in the post plan. Strength in numbers found from Kenny as he pops over top. Now, his head showing just barely. Steele takes the gamble and firing into it. Doesn't land it. That gives away his position, but unfortunately gives away his ammo. And Kenny pops out Tech 9. It's going to be overtime. What an exciting game this has been so far. In round number 29, it's Immortals. The Deagles in the single acre. They managed to almost lock it in. I thought that was it. That's the game one. Envious with a tilt off the server, it seemed, but they come back in with three AKs and two pistols themselves and managed to win the round there. That initial kill from Apex and A main through the smoke, gifted. A little kill there at the beginning, and then Immortals just can't hold on. We do go into overtime here. It is going to be 10k MR3. Kenny S on the AWP. Of course, similar story for the CD. You can see them not buying head armor. It's not needed in these overtime situations. There's no chance they're going to buy an SMG, so you're going to try and save the CD money. And I respect Henny. He pulls out the pistol. That's, oh, that's such a misplay. Leaves Phelps a sitting duck as well because he's relying on his teammate to hold the angle and get him into a position. He gets caught off guard entirely. Steals the next one to go down into the fence. I shouldn't say the next one to go down per se, but the next one to be confronted inside of middle if they continue with this level of aggression. Wow. He's That's obviously so trying to, where's he trying to reposition to though? He's the AWPer, right? And he's walking up towards the boost position. He's trying to get a position towards a uh, mid main and trying to get the angle there. It's smoked off at that point. That's such a risky play. And he reverse gets punished boost. for it. Maybe they thought with the single smoke reverse boost he falls back. Hand. That's yeah, that is a huge risk. Yeah, that's like if you, your teammate goes down, you're just falling back for an orb. Like, I think he was trying to get to position beneath boost so he can look in towards the mi yeah, main entrance, but possible. still, such a risky point at that, that stage of the round. Anyway, five on three, not really much MVS had to do at this point. Work out where the two-man stack is, and then happy, he's more than happy to probably find that information out for them. I think it's actually six on the other side of the map. Rashi comes in, they do find two kills somehow! MBK finds one in return, three if, on two still. Man, if they'd sprayed down that third one, if they could have converted... Took so long in the first spray, didn't have time to reset the aim, but that could have been huge. That would have turned the round entirely. It would have been three versus two in favor of Immortals. They had to do something. You give them credit where credit's due. They flash themselves in. They know they need the next kill. And look at this as well. Steel laid up mid. He finds another. Apex goes down. The round has turned 23 seconds, and suddenly the late kill's going in the way of Immortals. Gives them a massive chance in this as well, as MDK's going to try and rush toward this site. 15 seconds. Caught off in the smoke behind him. That's going to drop the bomb. I dare say Immortals just pull this back. Pinch crossfire. Six or nose on either side, but brings out the Molotov, and it's the wrong call. Can you believe it? How has that round turned on its head like that? It started off of MVS finding almost gifted two frags there. Couldn't believe that luck. MBK boosted up towards middle. He finds Henny out of position as well. Knocks down Phelps. It's five on three. Then, like you said, a perfect reaction from Immortals there. Realizing they can still win the round. They push into A main, find two kills. It still comes down to a difficult situation, but funneling them back towards B, it's still still being assertive towards middle, finding the kill, and then actually winning the round ultimately there. Six of us couldn't do much with the time remaining. That's massive for Immortals. So many clutches. They seem to pull out of the bag at the last minute. Round number two now, and it's going to be both swapping things up. He takes an apex. No luck for him this time through A main, it seems. 19, the lucky number in overtime. I shouldn't say the lucky, the winning number in overtime. 18, 18, we do it all again. And he changes his angle once more with the AWP. He's going to watch down highway, but doesn't put himself in quad where he's susceptible of spotting against Molotovs and being pushed into positions where he doesn't want to be. Caught out by what would be normally a Kenny AWP, but they elect not to bring it out. We know that if you lose two in a row in overtime, in this format, you can save, or be forced to save, on the third. Decent reinvestment from both teams, to be fair, considering how close that last round came. Smoke off late, 53 seconds. They won't be able to push through it. And he's going to wait. He's still got mid covered off with Steel again inside of the vents. He was never spotted there last time, remember. He came out vents on his own and pushed through mid to find an equalizing kill, but was never spotted within them, so he still has that up his sleeve. And it gives him a passive angle to give Henny a chance to try and find the shot as well, but he's just looked away. He's just given up that position at the moment they go for the boost, and Steel's been spotted. So all of that changes immediately without even much confrontation. And here's him coming, though. And Henny, just before the flash blooms, does find the opening pick. That's going to give them a two-man advantage. Smokes inside of the A-site. Phelps is going to go through them. Wrap back around two and front lines. The up bomb goes down as Phelps once more sets up the play. Six are inside of the site. He's going to fall into the same man. And he'll give them the two first overtime rounds. Envious looking a little bit lost here in overtime after losing that first round of five on three. 
They run out of time there. Envious actually losing their first pick at the beginning. It was Bolts that found Apex at the start of the round. And Henny, great positioning, good awareness there. You could hear MBK coming from mid. Takes him down, gives the information it's going to be an ace out of the attack at that point. And Phelps, what a great player was. Pushing through the smoke, finds three kills to finish it off. 2 0 now. And the money actually not favoring Envious. One player on a tech nine is going to be Kenny S, of course. Four players with the AKs, but they don't really have the names to work with. Two smokes, one Molotov, and a few flashbangs. That's it. As we go into the final round here, the first half of overtime, a huge advantage for Immortals, looking very promising to take this 3-0. Four players now towards the B site. MBK trying to walk in. He's had a great game so far. A shame to see him on the losing side, but happy he does find something to work with here. Gets that kill towards Phelps. Molotovs to go in through the windows, steal spots, but he's blinded. Here's as well, they're going to the left, but it's already on the right that MBK's arrived, and so too is Apex. He'll find Lucas as Henny tries to get a position from heaven. It's always a desperate position, a desperate situation, but he does manage the shot. It requires reactions, and it requires no. the right positioning against them. It drops the bomb temporarily as well as Apex falls to bolts. Your gasp says it all because that gives away the advantage they have. Kenny's forced to go high on the ground with the Molotov below. It's just happy remaining. Is this position good enough though? He doesn't want to push in behind because he expects someone to be watching it. They're going to drop in. Do they check it? They will now. They both fall though, and it's happy. Damage done. It's bolts down to 8 HP. He may just have enough in this position to hold it off. He'll do exactly that as they pick up their first in overtime. I just didn't think about CD spawn. I didn't realize that could be a possibility there, but it's happy. Of course, he's going to be in the position you don't expect, and he managed to do a very good job there. The morale in the envious camp doesn't look amazing, but they managed to get one round, which was an unlikely one considering the buy as well. You can see how they were struggling to get into the B side there. They didn't have the utility to actually hold off. The Yorpin towards the heavy position as well. They didn't have the smoke or the Molotov there. Trying to jump on the site, he gets one kill, makes things very difficult indeed. It was a two versus one. Around arguably Immortals should have won there, but happy with a great performance. And we go into the second half now. Like Matt said, first to 19 wins, 18-18. We go into double overtime here. It's part of the feat. Can be kissed on one cross. Or did he? Because no one did cross. So maybe I spotted something. And this is why my comms are wrong. I could have sworn maybe it was the projectile of a nade. When either way, both players back off. It's Henny and Bolts that are over toward the B position right now. As NBK is going to reposition himself deeper inside of the side, having dropped down from heaven. Apex waiting passively as well at Zed Connector to mid. Steel's waiting the same towards Squeaky on A. And Sixer looks into A main, doesn't see anyone. So where's the information? Where's the call going to be? Where's the rotation as well? With no one spotted at A main, you'd anticipate perhaps B is more likely, but there's absolutely no guarantee of that right now from this setup. Absolutely not. Very tense here on cash. No one giving anything away just yet. Set up five on five. We've hit the one minute mark as well. Immortals with presence towards middle. Phelps has been booted up and worked out. No one's in that position whatsoever. So to send a few more players up here as well, I think three in total. You can see them kind of setting things up. The vents haven't been broken out yet, so... Let's smoke towards CT spawn. Allows them to get a bit more positional control of middle, but Kenny S now looking to challenge towards highway. Does he go any further than this? Yes, no. he, oh, he nearly hit that. Just misses it, makes up for it on the second. Bolts goes down, and it'll funnel them in toward the A site fast. Because they don't want to leave themselves open to exactly that. As Kenny gets a second shot, Happy's in the site. Down goes Steel. Could be knotted on 17s very quickly, and that looks to be the case. Or is it? Henny up close. Oh, a chance on the second. Shot doesn't quite come through from the natural Boar Killer. Nearly gives himself up. And brings this back My to just bomb. a one versus two, but now he's covered off, surrounded, and as you say, no bomb. Four seconds was on the clock. Apex closes the round 17 17. Oh. Apex and Envy right back into this. These rounds have been absolutely nuts there. This is Kenny S. Like you can see on the screen, you can see him there, but it's slightly flicks at the right, but absolutely makes up for it. Finds two kills in the end, and happy. Great performance from him. Very good awareness. Takes down the surrounding players, and he manages to secure the round for his team 17 17. So then. Envious now in a fantastic position to take a double overtime. I like this. Aggressive towards A main. Changing things up here. It's a good flashbang. They get two kills to kick things off as well. Five on three. Use the incendiary to fall back as well. This is textbook stuff. Fall back to play at default positions now. And they've absolutely locked the round down. That's a really nice play. And that's why we love to cast cash so much. Because of those kind of options. And how things turn yet once more. Immortals with an eco to get themselves the position on map point. Envious come back, tie it up, take the early lead very quickly in the first round of overtime. And then Immortals go up two rounds. It's Envious that's in the driver's seat here, and they're up one man to find themselves in the first map point of overtime. It's been a back and forth affair. As Kenny's going to get flashed off, can't find the angle, but does get his vision back, doesn't land it. The jump's different. That's the position behind the box that's more favorable, favorable excuse me, for getting inside of the site harmfully. And there's going to be a bomb down back corner. Henny just waiting underneath of the position at Heaven. 
Steel waiting as well to cover off the fence. You can see his teammate trying to peek that because he doesn't have quite the angle to be the first to spot. And Apex goes in well timed on the back of the smoke. Kenny, great shot on Bolt. It's all on his steel. First spray comes in, but far too many men in front. And Envy's going to have that point in overtime. Yeah, lovely stuff there overall. What a great player was. You haven't seen much of that aggression from Envy so far. They were doing lots of audacious plays on the T side here, but they didn't make that call. Let's go towards A main. We'll flash in, find those first two frags as well. The incendiary to stop any rotations coming in. It funnels the T's towards the B side. And ultimately, a pretty simple retake. Got a bit hairy there in the 4 on 2, but Kenny S headshotting on towards Bolt. Just still, who can't do anything about it. So, like he said, map point now in favor of Envious. One more round for double overtime. That's even more was picking up. Very similar situation to what we saw in the first half. It's the AWPA down to the Tech 9. Four AKs with him as well. And a fast play from the T's through the smoke there. Apex can hear them. Let's go for the first kill. It's a team kill. It's falling apart, but Lucas makes up for it. Still a 4 on 4. A few missteps be costly or not. Thankfully, it's not a man advantage gained from it. It's rather a trade if you want to look at it that way. Steel will pull back and find one against Happy. Kenny, meanwhile, over toward the truck is going to Molotov and smoke off the top of highway. He's got to get more aggressive on this side of the map because they've lost so much elsewhere. Being down a man, they're going to suss out the A site and be slightly wrong on that because Sixers now the only one over toward B and they are closer to the vents. Bomb in the hands of Lucas is the closest one to them. Not gone through just yet. But the more time they wait on this, the further up Kenny gets and the more information they find on that AWP and already MBK starting to rotate back over toward that B side. So they've got to go and they'll go now. Sixer waits. AK in hand. Flash. Potentially to be bounced off. Exactly that position. The arched roof. Back out. Two in front. Can't find it. Does blind up Lucas long enough. Pops in. Does further damage as well. And look at MBK. He's made his way into heaven. He's quite far in as well. But that's going to give away his position. And Bolts responds accordingly. It's all on Kenny. But he's got bomb in front. No anymore. Yeah. And he was able to get it. Well then, it looks like a double overtime is looming as we enter a three versus one situation for Kenny S. It doesn't really have much to work with it. No nades. Needs to hope someone's a little bit impatient and decides to face him. They know he's got the orb. It's Kenny S. Of course he does. Just hold up. Allow one player to be sacrificed. He's got good vision on the bomb as well. It's pretty much an impossible situation for Kenny S. They might find the first because they're not peaking at the same time. Oh, he's up it. An inch too soon, and he might have had steel either way, as you say. It was very unlikely. Double overtime. This game does not want to go lightly. No, absolutely not. Double overtime comes in. Obviously, same rules. MR3, 10K. This has been a really exciting game. Very back and forth. If one team seems to run away with it, all of a sudden, something crazy happens, like shots through smoke or wall bangs or deagle kills. Deagle and kills, yep. It all just turns around just like that. It's really been very fun to watch. And we're going to everything reset now. It's basically zero zero. And, basically. Uh, basically. And uh we'll see what happens here. Similar buys for either side. One off on either side of four rifles. Might as well get rid of all the bullets. Kept about two in that mag. I'll back away toward highway as well. They went for the fast drop off inside of B, and instead they're gonna get aggressive on the back of it because they didn't spot anyone. It was Kenny who went all the way out in the end. Sixer was there with him. It doesn't matter because AWP player gets caught off guard and it's going to be the opening blood, the opening kill to Immortals. If you keep that second op up, Sixer brings it back in the site. I say second op being only op, I should say. Second of the two on each team. Oh, MBK. Be careful here, my friends. This is done and dusted. Two players getting aggressive and getting caught off. I know in his case, he's trying to make up for it. Lovely shot and a happy. This round falling apart quickly and happy. He may not be the only one to fall to steal from far. He takes down Apex as well. It's all on Sixer with that AWP. Now remember, it's not the end of the world. They have 10k to start out each overtime half. But, as we mentioned, if you lose two in a row, you buy ops aggressively. You could find yourself strapped for cash. Well then, Sixer. Yeah, you're absolutely right there. Overtime in uh, MR10 is... Uh, MR10? M MR3. MR3, 10k. It's, it can Max be a difficult rounds. situation. If you're buying orbs every single time, if you're the orb buying them, like the third round, if you lose 2 nil down, you won't have it. That's what we've seen a couple of times so far. Here's a replay. Still, very patient stuff. MBK walking to his cross. That was a nice shot towards Happy as well. Didn't even need the third one, but he does it for good measure and manages to secure that round. For Immortals, it's going to be 1918. And the buy comes in once again. Not really too much to describe to you. This is still a lot of money available for either side. And Henny going for that wall bang once again. He will be gifted the same sort of damage he inflicted in regulation time. Much more of a default setup here. We have got Lucas though, edging it towards B. And unfortunately, Six is in the perfect position to lock him down there. Not really much Lucas to do about it. Drops down. And before he even has a chance, he can take a shot there. Six uh, finds him. 1918. And a 5 on 4 in favor of Envious. 
And he was still with that AWP there, trying to find something towards mid. But no mid presence really at all from the CTs. It's absolutely fine. As long as you've got a understanding as to where they could go, it's not a big deal. MBK is coming to hunt for some information at the moment. Trying to get some of that intel we just discussed. But Phelps is on the left-hand side there. Just checking out towards the sandbags area. Kenny waiting for an opportunity with the AWP. Instead, though, it's happy to find bolts when he opens the door. Just barely gets away from the flames. Down to 16 HP, and he's got an opportunity to try and capitalize on this. Spots behind the box, the nade coming forth, but can't find an angle to follow up on it. Smokes now cover off that position as well, so Phelps will go aggressive on an AK. But look at the aggression from MBK behind him. They find him, no. Oh, that's a bit of a dance. Down over, realizes he can't find him. He gets back through his own smoke, but he's found by Steel in the end because he's jumped over. Wants the quick switch, does man. It's still to find Abby, and he's chasing one more. Kenny in oh behind Quad is the next in line, but he's just got the pistol back in time. <laughs> oh, these rounds are always so exciting towards the end there, but it's going to be MBS finding one in return. So money should be fine for either side as we go into the final round of the first Half of second overtime here. The numbers to keep track of. Still there with some decent work. There was a chance for them all to go back into that round, but Apex shutting it down. That kill was interesting. And Kenny is staying alive just long enough for his teammates to rotate in and help him out. Would have been a one versus five. Yep. That would have been pretty devastating. MBS have thrown away a couple of difficult rounds to swallow so far. There's a smoke to extinguish the incendiary to start the round. Apex over perfect position to shut them down. Gets the first kill. Looking for two, but can't nail it. But MBK certainly does. Four on three now. Take opening advantage and they'll add to that, taking down bolts. A little bit of a misthrown smoke there, I assume. Sixers shouldn't have vision into that position if the smoke's thrown correctly from the tees, but uh, regardless, he does. And there will be a 4 on 2 now, and Envious once again looking at 2 1 here on the CT half. 4 on 2. Looking very promising to be that number, but we'll see if Henny and Steel can do anything about it. Still have a minute to play with. No smoke, so that's a bit of a problem in these sort of situations. They have got Molotovs, which can be very powerful on cash. Lots of positions to flush out, but their positions right now are not full of hope for them as of yet. Henny's trying to find something with this AWP. Desperate to pull themselves back in. They don't want to give Envy two one half win. Missing that shot though. Steel was there to try and follow up, but that was the opportunity really with the time remaining. If they go kill that, that could be something. But Kenny S now, just a simple procedure for him. Oh, doesn't see Henny drop down, but still there's no way he can win this round. It's the last one of the first half of overtime, so might as well go for it, see what you can do. Yeah. After the scoreboard at least. Yeah, Kenny's gonna walk in behind exactly that. Well then, two one for Envious there. If you are playing at home, keeping up with the numbers. Probably so. are playing at home and second monitor watching us. Yeah, but uh, that's what I do. One frag, one frag, one round required for Envious to give us to triple overtime. Two for the win. Double orb set up here for Immortals. I think this is the first time we've seen this from their point of view. Yep. We did see MBK running with Envious. I don't think we saw Immortals run it at all. You could be right. All the way back to regulation, that is, not just overtime. Yeah. Well, My it's... brain's also fried right now. I've been casting CS every week, so I can actually keep track of stats. Yeah, a little it's bit impressive better. how that works. I feel refreshed and rejuvenated as well. Flash. Does catch off Henny and tries to go through the door. First time we've seen that aggression as well, so a full change here from Immortals trying to get the pace in their favor. They definitely struggled a little bit this second overtime as opposed to the first where they had the advantage early on. And it's two to go for Envious to wrap this up. Push coming through and toward the B tunnels as well. That could be a problem as Steel. He's already overlooked this toxic position. Sixer's got an angle on this. There's no way he's checking it. He's gone far enough now that he's not going to consider the back corner and Sixer opens it up for Envious. Yeah, lovely position there. What can still do about that one? It's going to be a 5 on 4 now. And then Kenny S looking to add to the frag total. That takes a lot of damage. Manages to get out of there. And there will be a B-sided attack. It's going to be swift towards this side of the map. And it's going to be actually just one CD Ooh. waiting for them as well. That will be Lucas rolling this plate right now. And that Smoke was a bit of a desperate one as it gets to the corner, but it leaves Lucas in the open. I think he thought someone was already in. He was looking below. I think he was positioning or something. Like, where he had a one way down I'm or something? I'm not sure. There was a smoke inside of the like side, but I don't for, think that's You don't look for terrorists by staring at the the bomb side itself, the floor. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm not. I'm very confused. Can we have a replay of that, guys, after this but room? Either way, you could be right. It was either positioning or anticipating a flash coming through. Either way, it costs him dearly because he's in the open. I talked about the smoke that didn't land in the mouth of the entry point. It gives him the kill, and a very important one as well, because this will put Envious on map point with two to work with. Two rounds, that is, that Immortals would have to close up the gap to force out a third overtime. That puts a lot of pressure on them. 
especially having had the lead 12-6 at a point in regulation. Yeah, well, there it is. Envious now. With everything working in their favor. They can just shut down some CD economy here as well. Oh, the grand scheme of things with that third round. Not so influential to the next one, but here we go then. That point has been obtained. And we'll see. We have got a little replay here. So, Matt, what's he doing? He's just yeah, staring at the position. He's trying to reposition for like a one way smoke. I think he's dropped that smoke himself and he's trying to think what's the sick position I can get in here to actually um, be in the, the safest position and ultimately kills himself with that one. That's a bit of a shame in this point of the game. Could have been the pivotal factor. They could have found one or two kills and dropped down, but caught with his pants down. I think that summarizes it perfectly there. Top stuff is a flash accordingly. So, too does Lucas. Good trade. They'll take it down to a four versus three very early on. The aggressive push from the B tunnels again. They get aggressive. They tried that last round, remember? The NWP, one of two, over toward this squeaky door. Well, on top as well to deny the default. MBK's pushed back. They can't plant just yet. Was the aggression towards the B side of the map it has got a favorable situation in favor of Immortals here. They have got the kill on MBK as well. He burns to a crisp at the hands of Phelps. Just Apex and Kenny S are trying to close things out here. Still possible with the Kenny S AWP. We can see him trying to find the first kill. Does get it as well. Takes down still towards Highway. He's looking for oh, more. Finds it as well. Bolts and there's Phelps. Kenny's alive late. And it might be enough for Envious no. to get pushed over. I say alive late. He's actually dead now, but... Of course. It's going to be a one versus one, and Hess with AWP spots up Apex. That's going to give Apex the chance, though, because he can't rebolt the weapon. And Envy will close out the map. Kenny. Bit of magic there towards the end. He has had a decent game. Very slow first half in regulation. Yes, Hasn't very. been like one of those crazy Kenny S performances, but he ties a knot in it very nicely there in the final round. That was absolutely bananas as he finds guilty.